Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. New 6 Plus and the Pinpoint Weather app by meteorologist Samara Kokinas. Fire danger is moderate all across Central Florida today due to the fact that we have low relative humidity, no rain in the forecast. It's a little bit warmer each day, but it's also windy, so it could really spread a wildfire. It could really get up there pretty quickly if it does catch on those winds. So just no burning outdoors. There's plenty of burn bans still in effect. And without any rain in the forecast, we're still right now between about four and six inches below where we should be for this time of year. We definitely need that rain. I don't think we're going to get any overnight. In fact, I think we'll just have partly cloudy skies, a little less breezy as we head into the overnight hours. And you may notice it's mild out tonight, maybe still cool in a few spots in the 50s. Uh, but as we head through the day tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. The wind picks right back up. The humidity will be up just a smidge as highs reach the mid 80s. It may feel a little bit warmer than it has been. And then as we head into Friday, I think that's when our chance for rain really returns mainly along the coast early in the morning. And then the, some of that rain will make its way inland. But notice these are very isolated pockets of rain, increasing rain chances as we head into the weekend. And that is all courtesy of a cold front that passes by Saturday night going into Sunday. So ahead of that front, a few chances for rain, 30 percent with a high near 89 behind the front a little bit cooler and breezy with a high near 82. So if you're headed out to the porch tonight to sit, I think that's a great thing to do. Though it'll still be a little breezy and mild as temperatures fall through the 70s. Your overnight lows settling in the mid to upper 50s, mainly north of Orlando and then in and around the city right around the lower 60s, closer to the coast, 69 in Melbourne, 70 for you tonight in Cocoa Beach. As we head through the day tomorrow, I did mention it's going to be a little bit warmer, so carry some bottles of water if you have to take your kids to practice. Your high temperature will be at 85 and it will be breezy with that east wind kicking at about 20 miles per hour. Now let's get you some results and show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Check this out. Keep the rain gear on standby, folks. You may need it Friday morning. High temperature that day, 86. Even on Saturday, which is Earth Day, a few scattered showers with a high right around 89. That cold front pushes through. And then behind that will be in the lower 80s for Sunday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine for the start of the work week. Still very comfortable there with lower humidity and a high near 80. Back to the mid 80s with scattered showers by the Wednesday of next week. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.